Hello Libra, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Libra. <laughs> you know, there are times when, um, I, I'm going to scoot this back just a smidge there, get it a little close. I get these most profound messages that, to me, after years of doing the work that I do, um, hits me like a ton of bricks and I sat down here to do your reading I was looking at your card and I'm going to show it to you there it is and whoa the messages that pulled in a song came up looked up all the lyrics because I couldn't remember off the top of my head and boy do we have a reading for you today some heavy stuff so prepare yourself Libra, this is going to be what your inner child wants you to know at this time. This is going to be for your sun, your moon, your rising. I'm not ta tailoring these to the Venus placement at all. Um, but if you feel that it resonates in that placement, you want to listen to it for that reason, of course, you're always welcome to. Uh, Libra, I, I felt so compelled over, call it Christmas break, right after Christmas, and we usually have some extra time off. Um, to do these readings and I feel like the further I get into these readings the deeper the messages are that are coming through and Libra for you I've said it before in your readings recently with this Aries and, and Libra in the north and south node this is going to be a profound 18 months for you and this reading I think is excessively indicative of that just in the few messages that I got um, I also disclaimer if you will guys understand that I do this because I want to see you all succeed I don't care where you've been what you've done um, what your past has been it doesn't matter we're here in this moment we're here in this moment without judgment and I don't want you to judge yourself and I also don't I don't want you to judge others right like we are where we are for a reason it's how we move forward always Libra um, I'm just going to dive into it, and I've got so many messages just on this single card alone that uh, this this may be a, a longer reading, so bear with me, um, but it, it's spirit, it's necessary. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you this card one more time. There's that, right? The Libra card, number uh, seven in the Zodiac. <sighs> I don't feel like you've ever learned boundaries, whether it's with other people or yourself. Um, and I'm going to tell you, flip the roles because we know that roles can also be reversed. So this could be your energy lever or this is somebody you're dealing with. Okay. Um, but this reading is meant for your inner child or maybe what is being triggered in that inner child to send you off in a space of 2024 to do the healing work that you need to do to free your energy up. Okay. So as I'm looking at this card, the intuitive messages start rolling in and this is I, I heard anger I heard resentment and then I could hear screaming like just I can't take any more <sighs> you know that that thing stick your face in your pillow and just let it out then I heard Pink Floyd's dark side of the moon now I will tell you I not I'm I'm a fan of Pink Floyd like I enjoy hearing it when I hear I don't go seeking to listen to Pink Floyd that's just me but I appreciate everything and I, I love them I think they're they're geniuses um but I I heard Dark Side of the Moon and I'm like I'm pretty positive that Pink Floyd did that song so I go back and I, I looked at the lyrics I wanted to 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 see um what all it was because I could not remember all the lyrics to that song Libra, if it does not speak to that mental screaming, resentment, anger, head explosion, and like, I look at her face and it's just like the tears are coming down. And there was another message that I got in there that was indicative of the mind space, right? And that's, you're a sword energy, so there you go, there's that air, um, the mind. And it's like, I also feel with this, that it's like, this despair of all cannot be lost. This is mine. Um, so heavy. It's four, four, four on the clock. So heavy. And so one of the first lines in the song is the lunatic is on the grass. We talk about games. To me, it was mental gameplay, daisy chains, 
loonies are on the path. Libra, you could feel, and I'm going to actually I'm gonna read the next line. Lunatic is in the hall. The, and lunatics are in the hall. And then later on, it also states, lunatic is in my head. To me, you could feel like you're at a point where you're ready to lose your mind or something is triggering you to the point of wanting to explode. And it says, I didn't write the full lines down, but the floor, uh, there's like paper folded faces. They bring those to me or something to that effect. The dam breaks. And as I say that, there it is, head explodes. Um, I'll see you on the dark side of the moon. To me, this is, this is a very, very dark energy. It's, it's like one of those lines where you say, I'll see you in hell first. That's how this feels. Um, rearrange till I'm the same. I can't even read my own writing. Lock the door, throw away the key. Uh, as soon as I, I read that, I went, oh my God, is somebody going to jail? There, to me, it's like a punishment. There's a punishment for actions. There's consequences to the actions. Um, someone is in my head and it's not me. And to me, that is conditions, beliefs, being told a certain way that this is the only way. And I think what there's a realization to here is that that way it is like damning. It is full of consequences that maybe... 30, 40, 50 years ago, we could have gotten away with, we talk about these structures, we're talking about Pluto and Aquarius partnering up, right, and doing their thing for the next 20 years. This is a complete shift, a magnificent shift in traditions, belief, belief systems, structures, it's revolutionary, it is change unlike we've ever seen before. 7.07 on the clock, and here you are, the seventh zodiac, right? Um, Boundaries, things not coming to fruition, waiting forever in a day, hoping something's going to change. Um, just shouts that no one can hear. And like I said, I get that energy of like face in the pillow screaming, muffling that sound, right? Different tunes playing. To me, this is a shift that, again, the way that things once were are changing immensely. It, you cannot play by the same rules that you did. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, whatever is conditioned you, whoever had that mindset that this is the only way that it could ever be. And if they've taught you that, and they're, I'm gonna assume, I could be wrong, um, older than you, it's an outdated way of thinking. And it's like you, you followed that tradition, you've followed that, you know, you've gone down the rabbit hole with them. They're pulling you down and they're pulling you under. And in one point in the song towards the end, they laugh, ha, 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 ha. I could hear the Joker in, in what is it? Uh, the, not the Dark Knight Rhymes. I, I'm terrible with movies. But um, it was the one that Heath Ledger played in. And um, it was that diabolical, psychotic, lunatic energy of the incredible role that he played. I, I feel like Libra, whomever or whatever you have dealt with, um, and again, it could be somebody you are dealing with, um, that energy is just there for just complete insanity. It, it, it's so freaking heavy and like this dam that is preparing to break Spirit just said during these 18 months, you call it a come to Jesus moment. This is meant to bring you to your knees to wake you up. I've said it before in Libra, I promise you, and I don't make I don't take promises lightly. I promise you that no matter how hard or difficult these awakening moments, the dark night of the soul comes in for you, no matter how many times you're brought to your knees, you feel like you're in despair. When you get to the other side of these ahas, you let life and, and force, I'm hearing from spirit, take its course for you to change the direction of your life. It will be the most bittersweet thing you have ever experienced.
but you'll you'll be happy that it's been done because the way you view things will never be the same and and I can tell you that I can attest to that because my 18 months in Taurus and Scorpio holy shit never in a million years you could have asked me even three months before it all began if I would ever occur something like that no way complete denial of what was to come but buddy when it came it hit and it hit hard so Libra I'm certainly not trying to fear monger you I'm not trying to scare the living shit out of you I'm telling you that if you are dealing with a person that is like this or you yourself have been in this space prepare yourself okay um like I got chills head to toe like it's like the hair on the back of my neck stood up kind of vibe okay so we're gonna dive into these cards we're gonna see what comes up for you guys 10 minutes of nothing but straight intuitive messages from spirit so um and then dissecting those right very very powerful energies at play here so let's see spirit what does libra's inner child need them to know at this time um you know, the thing of it is, too, Libra, if you're dealing with a partner or it could be a friend, family member, it doesn't matter who this is. Someone taught you to go into self-protection mode when it was unnecessary. It's like, you think about a porcupine, it's like if he was to keep his quills up 24-7 just because he could. He puts those quills down until he needs to use them. And it's like someone taught you when it comes to a particular situation... You just leave those things up all the time. You could be in no danger whatsoever, but you should be locked and loaded just because. And it's like somebody crosses you. Somebody, you know, looks at you cross-eyed, I should say. Um, someone makes you feel a certain way in a moment that you're just not prepared for it. It's like, okay, I'm going to shoot and fire these quills. Um, what, you know, and, well, shit, it's over there. Never mind. I was going to say, what is the, look up the spiritual meaning of a porcupine. Hence that particularly particularly came up so let's see here Libra it's just like constantly feeling the need to be in the defensive or always trying to put somebody else on the defensive so I don't know this is <sighs> expectation and specialization uh, Libra somebody for, I, I'm going from long ago and I'm going to say go back to maybe the age of 12 or so maybe even younger someone put an expectation on you put a burden on you that says this is who you need to be this is what is expected of you this is what you know it's like it was I could say never good enough but that's not quite the right term um, some of you could see it that way though being that that's what came across but it's like you need to be better than everybody else. You need to look better. You need to provide better. You need to be in a social status of some sort. You need to put on this, this big production of who you are in order to make shit happen. And anything less than that is just not good enough. Okay? And that's their insecurity. And they're living it through you. You know, call it living vicariously through you, except the simple fact is that's not who you are. That's who they couldn't be, so now they're going to project that on you. And guess what? You took the bait. So, Libra, let's see. What does Libra need to know, spirit? What does their inner child want them to know? That specialization came back out. Um, I can't help but feel... It's like whomever this person is or was, motion, they put, you can see through this, this lady, this is the first time I'm ever really noticing this, you can see through her, um, which tells me whoever this is knew how to play you. This could easily, because you think about it, who knows us better than anybody else most often, our parents, until we become adults and then our spouse, right? They knew how to play on what you strive to be to exceed expectations you had to be the best if it was a sport had to be the best if it was a job had to be the best it didn't matter what it was you had to be the best 
and constantly hanging on for a sense of control. That inner child right there, that small little person, got taught how to hang on for survival. Got taught from a space of anger. It, it was always abrasive. This is how you have to be. This is how you got to be. This is how you have to move. You got taught and you're carrying it into adulthood. You have carried it into adulthood. Um, like Spirit is telling me like I, my instinct is to go, I'm sorry that I'm delivering this message in a sense because it's, it, it's probably very freaking triggering. But yet Spirit is saying don't apologize for it because it's what you need to hear. So, re revolution and clarity, Libra. There it is on the other side of this, on the other side of the moon where the light beams. It's illuminating this change that is required within you. It is going to change the way you see everything. And I feel like there's a bit of rebellion from you going, I'm not ready to move. This is what I know. This is my truth. But somehow you're being silenced somehow spirit is saying shush don't talk see don't talk feel don't talk pay attention where are these thoughts coming from and why because they need to change What else for Libra's inner child? That was quick. Efficiency and time. <sighs> Libra, either you or somebody you're dealing with. You know, I said about the light, like being on the light side of the moon rather than the dark side of the moon, right? There's a lot of ferns around this lady. The ferns don't need a lot of light to survive. 17, 17 on the clock. Um, and it's like once this starts to happen, once you start to feel this, um, it's, it's almost like you're becoming a spectator to your own life. Sitting back, holding on to what you feel you've got left. And not, it's, it, it's you know, I say all the time, dear caught in the headlights where they don't move they just stand still and go are they gonna hit me or am i gonna be able to walk right like can i go can i stay are you gonna, you gonna run me over what's gonna happen here um this is interesting i've never seen this before on this card <laughs> do you see that there's the moon i've never seen that on this card all these years i've had this deck um but then the flip to this now now that i'm really looking at this there's light, there's the dark, and there's the moon. This next full moon phase, Libra, uh, this would be the, what, the full moon in Gemini, right? Am I thinking right now? No, we had that, didn't we? We had the full moon in Cancer, full moon in Leo, maybe. I, I'm so far behind on this stuff, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, this next full moon, though, in January, the end of the month, or it could be a tough one for you. I'm not going to lie. Um, time, stretch, repetition. It's like Groundhog's Day. It's also the definition of, of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. And expecting a different result. Expecting that somehow, like, it's just going to change. It's funny too with this stretch, I'm getting this feeling of a rubber band. Like you can pull that rubber band for so long, right? I mean, they're they're pretty pretty hardy, for the most part if they're thicker. But eventually they're going to snap and break. It's a matter of time. This wasn't meant to last. This this wasn't meant to stay that course. There's there's a shit ton of moon energy here, and again, um, the moon phases. And then there's the sun and there's the dark. You have to decide Libra what side of that moon you want to be on. 
do you want to be left in the dark forever or do you want to come out and, and play with people that are going to ignite a passion within you that drives you forward for the positive um and you look at this young lady here despair exhaustion tears worn out doesn't know what to do doesn't know where she's going only sees parts the dark side, the light side. What side do you want to fall on? Okay, let's grab some other cards. I've, I've got the chills. I've had the chills since I've started this reading for you, head to toe. Like, I just, it's, in, this is incredible to me to see this come out the way that it is. And you know, it, side note real fast too, I'm seeing this now. She's holding on or it appears she's holding on to that pentacle. But do you see, or whatever, I don't know, cookie, whatever you want to call it. Um, her, it's, it's like it's slipping through her fingers. She's not even really holding it, it's just there. I, I'm seeing so many different <clears throat> things on this card today that I've never seen before. You know, and that happens as a reader. If you read cards yourself, you know that. It changes. Um, I, I can't help but feel like you guys are just frozen. Frozen. I would call it shock, or I don't know that you'd call it shock, but it's, 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 a, it's a standstill. It's done, it's over. All right, Spirit, what else for Libra's inner child? What does Libra's inner child want them to know? Split the deck. Leo Kingdom, there's that fierceness, there's the justice, Libra. Um, this is actually the card of Virgo in this particular deck. And um, Virgo season could be very important for you this year. Leo, Leo to Virgo season. Uh, Spirit just said there could be a split off uh, during those time frames for you. Um, someone's feeling disgruntled and somebody's turning their back. Someone's picking a new direction. And I've, I've, I've seen that for you guys for a while, um, but I also feel like that whatever this split off is, is separate of whatever you're dealing with now. It's a part of it, but yet separate. So I hope that is making sense for you. All right, Libra. What else for Libra? Their inner child spirit. Oh boy talk about that music, right? Listening to music. Maybe you listen to Pink Floyd. Who knows what you listen to, right? Everybody's got some uh, different taste. Music underlying that there is a change in the tune. The way this has been played, what did I say? It was different uh, Different tunes playing is something to the effect of the words in, in Pink Floyd's song. Um, it's changing. You know, you, you think, I remember as a kid, my grandmother would say, keep it up and you're going to be singing a different tune. Like, that's the warning from her was like, I'm going to give you a reason to change, you know, your attitude, your tune, what, however you want to label that too, okay? Um, what comes out? Retribution, Scorpio energy. Something here, I, Libra, in the South Node, it is karma. It is destined it is faded. It is what you get it out. You get back. You could feel like a Scorpio or a Virgo could be, or Leo could be playing a heavy part in this for you. Um, they're saying more so dealing with those particular signs uh, than the time frame itself. So it's going to vary for some of you somebody is getting retribution to or Taurus and well Taurus you might be dealing with a Taurus too it just came out of my mouth Libra what is done in the dark comes to light if you've had some shitty dealings with a Scorpio if you were not on the right side of karma we'll call it you could feel like you're being attacked at this point you could feel like somebody is just, call it having their way. I don't know how else to put that. 
but the same old song and dance is done. Okay, and you could feel like you're, you're getting aimed, shot, and fired at left, right, and sideways when it comes to certain situations. Doesn't have to be with the Scorpio. Could have been Scorpio season two as well. So pay attention to last October, November, and then same this year as well. But I feel like this is past energy. All right, Libra, what else? Fragility. Mind blown, right? Talked about that insanity level, the lunatic, the hoodlums, the... What else did they call it? Um, I don't even remember. Something else. But nonetheless, in the head, the head games, right? Mentally breaking, breaking down. Um, not saying you're all going to go into like some kind of manic episode that you're going to have to be, you know, cert you'll be certifiable and put them in that house. But you've got to heal your way of thinking. You've got to change the way of thinking. You've got to wake up to how broken this is how how fragile someone at some point Libra, because we're all conditioned I, I don't care i don't care if it's the government i don't care if it's your mom and your dad i don't care if it's the guy that you've mentored under like whatever this is whomever this is they gave you a falsified idea of what you're supposed to be and as much as they thought they were building you up again living vicariously through you because they didn't come out to be the way they wanted to be. They weakened your mindset. They didn't strengthen it. They, they, they used you at the end of the day. They used you to make themselves feel better. Do you see this woman? She's an older woman. And I'm pretty sure, Libra, that maternally We've talked, like, in regards to the maternal aspects of your life, we've talked about this before. They used and abused because now they're older. They're so much wiser because they know. It's not about your physical age here on this earth. It's about the lessons. It's about the soul. Your child can come born into this world older and more mature on a spiritual level than the person that gave birth to them. Or the father that participated in creating life. Just because she's older doesn't mean she's wiser. And do you see the fragile look? Do you see how broken, how sick she looks? It's not a healthy dynamic. She refused to heal. She decided to, to, to dump her mental energy into you and now you're left to heal it you're left to fix it you're left to course correct what somebody dumped onto you pardon for the buzzing of the door the wind is whipping here today and for some reason that door just gets crazy could be dealing with a cancer as i said or a gemini distraction You're slowly, Libra, breaking down by half of what you used to be. Because you're starting to recognize, even with the distractions, that the way things have been occurring can no longer continue. You, again, this, this is all mind. And there's rescue. Wanting someone to come in and save the day. And I'm going to tell you, Spirit just brought to my attention too, you can't go back to what broke you to heal. Don't lean on the person that broke you to heal because you're never going to heal there. That's like somebody being a drug addict and going back to the trap house to try to get clean. Tell me how that makes a lick of sense. It doesn't. It doesn't work. So you've got this distraction energy, this, this mind just running amok shit's popping off right like I said in the beginning like anger like oh my gosh and you even take a look at these two cards here there's a lot of energy above the head around the head exuding from the head going I can't take anymore and you see she's seeing herself in all these different versions and Libra it's like 
You don't even know who the hell you are anymore. You don't know how the hell you got to where you are. None of it is making sense. Your foundations are being rocked. You don't know how to have boundaries with the person who has lived through you rather than allowing you and teaching you to live for yourself. And now it's like, who do I turn to to fix me? Who's going to come in and save me? Who's going to help me? Where do I find my strength? You find it through change. You find it through change. You have to make changes. You've got to let the old you go to step into the new you. And again, you are not going to get well in the same place that broke you. That's the thing. It's like you're starting to realize there's this one version of you of what you truly desire. And there's the other version of you that got taught to be angry and have to be the best at everything. Have to make more money. Have to be more prestigious. Have to have the best of this. Have to have the best of that. Have to be able to put on this pretty little picture. that Everything is hunky-dory. Whether it's your looks or this or that. Whatever. Some of it could be like a body perception. Like you could go to the gym and work out all the freaking time and it still doesn't fix what's missing within. I hope, I hope that's hitting home. All right. Specialization, Spirit. What do we have here? <clears throat> do some clarifying for the specialization. Let's see. The world card. The Knight of Swords, the Nine of Cups. There, there's a level of sick and tired of striving for the best. You see this too with the specialization. There's that world energy that wraps around her, that bubble, right? This is walking through something, bringing something to a completion. Um, Knight of Swords. I can't help it with this deck, but it's like chasing your tail. Chasing down things that were never meant for you. They're going to get away every time. They're not for you. Why would you want to hang on to something that's not for you? Because it fills a void? This is done. And when it comes to your partnerships, the people that you work with, collaborate with, um, plan, strategize with, Spirit just said they're poison. They're poison. They're, it's like every single person, Libra, that has come into your life, damn near every single person, They've either challenged you or they've poisoned you. And if they challenge you, you went back to the same place that broke you. Every single time. Spirit says it's time to close this out. You may not want to, but it's going to happen. And balance and healing for your betterment. You are now, if you thought you were the master at something, you're now becoming a student. Uh, some of you could also be looking up um, different, how do I know, different spiritual beliefs, different ways of viewing things. Like, it's like I said to you earlier, go look up the spiritual meaning of a porcupine, right? So it's like, maybe that's just something that you've never done, never even thought about it. And all of a sudden, it's like there's an interest in going online and looking and going, what does this mean? You can also be trying to self-diagnose. Stop it. Go see a doctor. Um, talk to some kind of practitioner or certified holistic somebody or something like that, right? It's like, what does this mean? Trying to figure out, trying to strategize a way around things because you don't want to see it. Clarify this world card, please, Spirit. Two of Pentacles, which direction do I go? And then in the middle of all of that craziness is the truth. You know, there, there's, there is a, a truth in the fact that truth exists in the sense that, um, you know, people get divorced, right? So everybody's got a version of their side of the events that have taken place. And, you know, there's your side and maybe your ex's side of the story and you've got your perception and they've got their perception, but down the center of this perception is the actual truth to the matter at hand. And it started with the foundations, and there you are. 
you know this. But I think you're back and forth on what you actually see and what you can't see, what you know to be true and what you see to be true. Um, it's funny, I'm seeing the two of pentacles like this, like this one pentacle is transparent, the other one is can't see anything through it, right? And it's like you're bouncing back and forth in this awareness, in this truth, in this conviction of what you once believed and what you're now seeing and starting to question what the truth of the matter is. Once you walk through that threshold, there ain't no going back, okay? It's, and then the mind takes over, right? You see this spiraling case, like I like the Ace of Swords, but there's that spiraling case to the matter that you've got to go deeper, deeper, and deeper into the mind, and it feels angry. Each time you go a little deeper into the foundations of these beliefs, anger kicks in, okay? What is this retribution for Libra? Four of Pentacles, you're hanging on to resentment. I told you, there's the death. <clears throat> Libra, I'm going to leave this. Those cards just fell. Taurus energy, you could heavily be dealing with a Taurus. Six of Cups, this could, again, pertain to, ch to children somehow. I think I mentioned that. Your childhood, again, the Hierophant traditions and beliefs, your views and opinions on things. Seven of Cups, the confusion, the inter-turmoil and conflict. How the hell do I get out of this? How did I ever get into it and how the hell do I get out of this? On this retribution card, that of Scorpio, look what pops out. Scorpio, the death card, four of pentacles. There could be somebody in your life that has triggered you to wake up. You're holding on for dear life. You're holding on going, nope, nope, I'm not giving you anything. Nope, nope, I'm not going to change. Nope, nope. It's like hell bent and dead set on the idea that somebody else has hurt you. At some point, someone else has hurt you based upon your falsified belief systems from the past. And all of that resentment and anger where you have been triggered, this is a karmic soulmate in the adult life. And so is the one that conditioned you to believe these, these things. <clears throat> um, they're letting go and you're hanging on. The transformation here is happening. And you can fight it or you can get on board. You can't change that. This is destined. You can be angry. You can seek, you know, if you move forward, Libra, in the sense of seeking revenge, seeking retribution for how they hurt you, you're forgetting what it is to forgive. You've done your best that you knew how to do to this point. And whatever this situation is, I don't know, and I'm not going to dive into it because for everybody it's going to be different. But they did the best that they knew how in the moment, too. I said in the beginning, no judgment here. This is judgment of a situation that says I won't let that go. I'm going to hold on to that till my dying day. The only person you're poisoning is yourself. Okay? <clears throat> This is going to force you, <clears throat> again, excuse me, this is going to force you to go into a state of flow one way or another. It's going to cut out the bullshit and it's like you're not going to be able to unsee it. <clears throat> Efficiency, you got the Knight of Wands, Two of Swords. Uh, I just heard the fun and games are over. They're done. They are no more. Um, <clears throat> you, you know, if you were li living a party lifestyle, and I'm not saying that you all were, but if that was like, it's kind of carefree and that thing wanting to constantly be in a state of fun, you could feel like the fun's over um, in some way. Talking about the music, she's beating her own drum. Spirit is also teaching you, you have to play by the beat of your own drum, not the perception or the beliefs that someone else has put on you. Again, the Ace of Swords the Empress, the Five of Swords, the Ace of Cups comes out with that. You know that within you, the idea of happiness, of genuine love, of unconditional love lives within. And you want to feel that. 
You want to you want to play with that. You want to relish in that. You want to know what that's like. But yet you just kind of stand there and go, I don't know what to do with this. It's like first time parents. Oh boy, we've got this little life here that we've got to take care of, and we've never done this before. Um, so now what do we do? <laughs> you know, looking at each other in the hospital room, going, "Oh, he and she is just." Darling, and I'm so in love with them. They're crying. We feed them, right? It, it's that. Like, what do I... You're holding on to it. What the hell do I do with it now? Spirit just said, invested into your innocence. Like, you, you already know what to do. You already know what to do. Five of Swords or some worry. I just heard there's some regret. But you know what you have to do. I could be dealing with a Gemini. There's Gemini again, the lover's card. It doesn't have to be, but I did say this is soul, you know, soulmates or karmic, whatever. There it is again. This card of cancer for Libra spirit. What is this distractions about for Libra? Four cups. Well, that's not distracted energy, huh? Three of Swords. And we... Uh, Libra. Ignoring the pain. Ignoring the disappointments. Ignoring the healing work with the star here. Um, Libra, it, it's... How do I put this to you guys? This is, this is like I'm at a loss. Like, I don't know what else to do. I don't want to see this. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to acknowledge this. I don't want to think about this because that's not what I wanted. That's not how I wanted this to play out. And Spirit is addressing the fact that you need to just forgive you. Like, you're, it, it's like you're taking on the burden uh, we'll just use your mother as an example. The burdens of your mother, what she projected onto you. And you believed in that so much. It was like you were almost brainwashed by it. That you you believed everything wholeheartedly. And then you got out into this big old world um, of all these other people and all these other experiences. And you could have followed their footsteps in some way. And you're realizing that it's led to disappointment. You took on burdens that were theirs. They weren't yours. Um, they may have built you up and never held you accountable for certain things. And now all of this stuff is coming up to the surface at the same time. And it's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix this. And I don't even know that I want to change because I'm so angry with everybody else. But are you getting down to the source of the original problem? You're, you're not forgiving the people in your adult life, but they're not the ones who did this. You know, when you became conscious and aware of right and wrong, you made choices. And at that point, you're responsible for those choices. You're not responsible for what other people do before you have control of your own life but your responsibility is to heal for your own self and it's like I don't know any other way part of that research you could be doing googling or whatever is what do I got to do to fix this and I just heard from spirit what do I got to do to fix me what's the matter with you can't tell yourself lies. You can't fix the narrative and make it what you want to be just on your perception. What are the facts? So that you can truly work through it for your higher good. Okay? Um, and this is going to affect your foundations. It's the four. It's the inevitable. Um, 
Libra, it's it's kind of funny in a way. I, I feel like the one person you're projecting out to be the most pissed off at and hold back from is the very person that tried to get you to straighten up. <laughs> They're the one person I think that would have showed you a way out. That scares you. So you went against it. Advice for Libra, please, Spirit. <clears throat> it's got you all twisted up, don't it? It really does. Clock, meeting time, cycles, and takes time. Time to heal, progressing. Called it. Karmic relationship. Resentments and triggers. I said resentments from the get-go. Perception, been saying it the whole time. Intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. Whatever this retribution is, it's time to let go. It's time. Clock, the time is up. You've got two references here specifically to human time. Time and clock. This is done. The time is up. And, and, and Libra, was it you? No, it was the daily read two days ago. I think I titled it Time's Up. You might want to go back and view that reading. It was the daily for the 9th, I believe it was. Um, Spirit said the number 9 and 11 could be significant for you as well. All right, advice for Libra, please, Spirit. I said, whoever you dealt with, they could be much older than you. This could go back 30, 40, 50 years. Their old school way of thinking, bingo. Again, there it is. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. You've been in your head from the second I sat down to do this reading. You've been in your head for a long time. It's just kind of coming to an explosive culmination of, of, of events that it's like you can't change the direction now. I told you they were using you to live vicariously through. You've had issues with boundaries. I said that earlier too, whether it's boundaries with yourself or boundaries with other people. Girl with a snake. Charmed or used, enabled. And I said maybe somebody didn't hold you accountable. If they're not, they're enabling your bullshit if you're, if you're making mistakes. Boundaries. The need for boundaries. The other side of this, that flip, right? The other part of you that I talked about with this Gemini card, the rescue, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. There's something on the other side of this and it's like your boats are sitting there waiting for you. They're waiting on you to get past this. Calmer waters, I mean, you look how calm and still, it's literally picture perfect. It's everything you ever wanted. Paradise is on the other side of understanding of this. Additional advice for Libra, please, Spirit. Tell me to get four cards. Shuffle it the fourth time, okay? Additional advice for Libra. There it goes. Can't make it up, guys. Sword and Rose comes out sideways. Clarity and truth, revelations, honor, protection, determination. Where are you placing your determined energy at? Is it in the aggression of resentment and not forgiving a situation? Again, I said earlier, like a little bit ago, um, is your perception factual? For this to come out sideways, there's some small portion and again, I'm going to go back to that same daily reading I did for Time's Up. I said about the clock. There's like a quarter of the clock left in this coming out in that quartered position, three-quarter position. There's a piece of that clarity that you're missing. And we've seen the clarity show itself in the, the original deck that I started to use. I said, it's like spirits zipping your lips and telling you, don't talk, listen. Don't talk, see. Don't talk, be still. There's a truth in that silence, and it's needed for you. The 
fourth one, the golden mirror, narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided. Are you taking on the traits of the person that did this to you? Have you taken over their role? Or is somebody you're dealing with taken over that role? Let's say your mother was that way, did you, or even your father. Did you marry somebody that acts that way? Have you always partnered up with people like that? Are your friends that way? Is that what you're dealing with? Is it a repeat in your life? It's time to close this out. <laughs> Again, look at this. The other side of that is ascension, learning and expansion, transcending, preparing for union, a new phase. What's with it? That paradise again. I told you earlier, I don't make promises I can't keep. But if you find a way to forge through this journey of getting rid of this bullshit, which I've seen for you before, I promise you this is what is on the other side. And when you get on the other side, everything that you thought was important to you realize is not. It's a completely different world that you're in. You, you truly do value and appreciate the importance of the things in life. And it's genuine union. It's people who truly care about you. Not what you look like. Not what you have. Not if you can buy and sell an island. It doesn't matter. Who are you? That becomes unconditional love. It's not a facade anymore. It's time to cut ties and move on. Libra, I might need a nap after this. I ain't gonna lie. That's some heavy shit right there. Really, really, truly is. Um, they're telling me to get this one last card over here from the Light Workers deck. Let's see what comes up. All right, Spirit for Libra. What additional advice do you have for Libra? Longest reading I think I've done outside of Taurus there, my dear. Taurus had some stuff going on. You could be dealing, again, triple uh, energy on the Scorpio here. Taurus, Libra, double on the Aquarius, Gemini, um, and ones, Aries, Leo, Sag as well. So those are, those are the ones you could be dealing with. And I slipped Taurus slip earlier too, again, so it could be another Taurus. <laughs> that came out fourth ray of harmony. Oh, Libra, you're being asked to open yourself up extensively here. Um, and that music came back out. Go If you haven't listened to Pink Floyd in a hot minute, or if you've never listened to him on how old you are, um, showing my age, uh, go listen to Dark Side of the Moon. It may really, really resonate with that. The Spirit said for some of you, that's, that's how you feel because of somebody else. All right. Additional advice for Libra Spirit. Additional advice for Libra. Star Child, eight, first ray of power. This is a this is a point of ascension. Stop letting the divine gifts of life go through your fingertips. Okay? Um, you are one with the universe. The, for some of you, this could honestly just be your first lifetime around, truthfully. Um, it's like this is the first realization that you have that you are the power of being in your life you don't need somebody else to give you that power you are protected you are guided it's like kind of might even be in this crazy space of like going you know where are the aliens oh my gosh if I can get a hold of it where are the aliens beam me up get me get me off of planet earth I'm done um but look what's behind that just reach out to your guides your angels your ancestors ascension rainbow bridge um let the death of the old you happen let the new you emerge star child if i just heard from spirit if you will work with us we will work with you we will work through you and for you but you have to agree to that you have to be open with that receptivity of, of that guidance but stop letting things fall through your fingertips Stop letting the love just, it's like, it's falling out and no attention is being given to it. It's everything that's out here that's starry, beautiful, glitzy, right? Everything up here she's seeing, but she's missing. 
she's missing what's flowing through her fingertips. She can't, can't grasp onto it like that. You can't hold water. You have to feel it. Water is that love. Water is that emotion. Are you feeling it? I don't think you are. Feel the emotion. Eight. It's a year of eight. Be in the divine flow of life. Be in. You've got two eights here, by the way. Scorpio's card and uh, Star Child is an eight. Um, ooh. Spirit just said you could be learning massive lessons from your child or you were the child in the situation. It's karmic. It's destined. It is what it is, Libra. Forgiveness. You've got to forgive this situation. You've got to let it go. I know easier said than done. Check it out. Uh, check out Hopa Onopono. It's uh, H apostrophe O P O N O P O N O, I believe. So, all right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care of yourselves. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I always appreciate it. It's one of the greatest ways to show appreciation. And now there's a little thanks button across the bottom there, uh, right below the video, too. And it's now an option because of all the work you guys, uh, all the love and support that you show me. So I appreciate each and every single one of you. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.